Hello, welcome to another Vs Cards video. My name is Veronica Chuicho, an independent stamping up demonstrator in Australia. And in this video, I'll show you how to craft an interactive swing card. I can't wait to show you. Let's swing into it. Here's a quick look at the products that I used. I'll have a link in the description below with a product list. First up, we're going to do some stamping and die cutting and eventually we'll do some layering as well. We'll build our monkey and we will assemble the card with final details. Using a long strip of very vanilla, I'm going to stamp the sentiment and the bananas. You can also stamp the face and ears of the monkey as well on this strip. You may notice as I'm punching out the banana, I'm also punching out one of the ears and I get quite a few so I don't need to worry about punching any ears a little bit later. There are three main parts to the card front for this card. First there is the monkey itself who happens to be part of the mechanism. Then there is the background stamping and finally all the other bits and pieces that are layered together to craft the card. Now that I've die cut the sediment piece and the frame piece, I'm going to adhere that together. I'll then put that aside and focus on the background. To add a bit of interest to the old olive cardstock, I'm going to stamp tone on tone some leaves. I'm going to do things slightly differently. This time I'm not going to use the tropical leaves stamp set, but rather the monkey one. And you certainly have a lot of leafy options to choose from. I'm stamping in a circular motion. It's a bit like building a stamping bouquet. I'll start off with one stamp and then I'll fill in some bits with another stamp and then do the same with the third. Otherwise the background might be a bit too plain. You could use designer series paper. I happen to have no current green ones, so I'm going to make my own by stamping away tone on tone. Certainly the designer series paper would cut for time and complexity in the project if you wanted to simplify it. To soften the stamping, I'm going to use some brush strokes using the blending brush in a circular motion. It's also going to give a bit more depth to the forest. Little by little, bit by bit, I'm building the card front by adding bits and pieces together. And finally, we will begin to see things come to life. I'm going to have the monkey hanging on the top left corner of your card. You'll need to have the sentiment on the bottom right, so well away from the monkey as he swings. I'm going to stamp tone on tone the monkey image using peek and pie. Then I'm going to punch it out and I'll punch a spare monkey shape that hasn't been stamped as well for the back. I will later sandwich two dimensionals with the two punched out larger monkey shapes. You're going to need a small piece of very vanilla cardstock you only need the length and width that would fit the face. So we're going to stamp on the face and make sure you have scrap piece of paper so that you don't stamp on your working surface and make sure that the face is going to be inside the card section. I'll give it a punch and then I will adhere it to the face of the monkey. Next up I'm going to use a little bit of liquid adhesive to adhere the small ear parts of the monkey. So if you take a look at the diagram here you'll see that there are two small holes which are in fact the monkey's ear insides. So you can actually punch two at the same time if you like. We are at about the halfway mark of this short video tutorial. You're still watching so you must like it. Please take a moment to like 
and also if you're not yet a subscriber i invite you to subscribe to this channel and click on all for notifications to keep you up to date with all of my upcoming videos finally because of youtube's algorithm my channel is dependent upon your comments please place your comments in the comments section tell me about how i've inspired you discuss the products or techniques even provide me with some feedback on content you'd like me to cover thank you so much next i'm going to turn the monkey around and place two dimensionals at the back and adhere that spare monkey punch out onto its back the monkey will need a rope to swing on so i'm using some green twine which i'm going to tie or thread around one of the dimensionals next to the arms and tie a double knot snip off one end and have only the other end as a swinging part of the mechanism if you can get your hands on a quilting needle or a large needle that you already have at home use that to do the threading pictures one to three show a cross section of how i've tied the twine to the monkey picture four shows the blank punched out monkey adhere to the adhesive and then some window sheet as well i'll use a manipulated mini glue dot on the inside of one of the arms and place the twine on it so it looks like he's holding the twine i use liquid adhesive place a small dot onto the banana and adhere it to the other end or the other arm of the monkey as though he's holding it now that the monkey is holding on to the vine or the rope we can adhere the vine at the back of this card but before we do that we're going to adhere some window sheet onto the back of that monkey to give it more slipperiness and smooth sliding I'm using tear and tape to secure this twine onto the back of the old olive cardstock. To avoid a collision, you can pencil in where the monkey's swinging so that you can adjust the length of the twine accordingly. Obviously, if there's a collision with the monkey and the sentiment, the mechanism isn't going to work. I want to keep that area nice and clear for a smooth slide. I thought it would be cute to add some bananas along the sentiment area as well. To step it up, you could stamp on a light color card stock and color in using stamping blends like i have on the left i'm now going to finish up the card by adding the rest of the layers onto the card front to add more interest i have a strip of peak and pie card stock that i'm going to layer onto the card front followed by the old olive card I'm using my trusty take your pick tool to peel off the backing of the tear and tape. Finally, the moment we've been waiting for, monkey is ready to be adhered to the card. For a fun finishing touch, add some mini glue dots to Google eyes and place onto the face. So not only will the monkey be swinging to and fro, but his Google eyes will be moving as well. How cool is that? I noticed the other end of the twine sticking out, so I'm going to use my take your pick tool to stick it on to the side of the dimensionals so it's not revealed. We are almost at the end of this video. Stay right to the end. I'll have examples of other cards I've crafted using the little monkey bundle. 
I love this little monkey and I may use him again for my future videos. Let me know in the comments if you'd like me to. Thanks so much for watching. Happy crafting and see you in the next video.